food poisoning bacteria. Some types of pathogens or food poisoning bacteria are specific to certain foods and have different symptoms. Understanding which types of foods can be affected by which bacterium will help you to better prevent it spreading to the food that you serve your guests. So in this lesson, we are going to have a look at the different types of pathogens and the different symptoms that result from any food poisoning. Salmonella. Salmonella is a pathogen that occurs in the intestines of humans and animals. Although it performs particular functions when it occurs naturally in the body, and it is good for us in a controlled environment of the intestine, Salmonella can cause food poisoning if it is allowed to develop in a food environment under different conditions. Food that can be affected by Salmonella includes poultry, meat, eggs and shellfish. Next we have Staphylococcus aureus. This bacterium occurs in food and may be transported from one food to another by human contact, including hands and other parts of the skin. Cross-contamination is worsened when the skin is damaged, such as with sores or boils, as more of the bacteria is harboured in those cuts or scrapes and therefore can be transferred onto the food. Next we have Clostridium perfringens. Clostridium perfringens lives in human and animal intestines, as well as in soil. This bacterium can affect high-risk foods, such as raw meats, poultry and raw vegetables. Then we have E. coli. Just like Salmonella and Clostridium perfringens, E. coli also occurs naturally in the intestines of humans and animals but it becomes very harmful in different environments and conditions outside of the body. It is also very dangerous when it is found in food, so we must take care to prevent this bacterium from multiplying. The bacterium is often found in human excrement and raw meat, and so care must be taken to maintain hygienic practices, especially correct storage.